far. Ben, you must have missed a couple of seasons of Sunny, because like that yeah, episode I, was, I sang about was like a couple of seasons ago. They've actually, I think they've gotten better. Like the newer seasons are actually really good. I probably it's one have of the few shows. It gets seems to get better and better in some ways. I presume NL is a human player. Yes, that is a human player. That's why it's doing so well. Fake news. Netherlands always does well. <laughs> it's impossible for it not to do well. Anyone who tells you otherwise Actually, when is a traitor. And they do tend to do okay. Uh, it's really escalating over there. Yeah, when they form and they're not interrupted by a player, they do well. Yeah. I don't think I've ever actually seen Netherlands do particularly well, even when they do form. Yeah. You yeah. haven't? Oh, no. I, I normally see them form that immediately get smashed down to the ground. Same. Happens sometimes. Just um, like just almost immediately, just like what you want to be your you want to be your own country? Well, fuck you. I mean, I have seen uh, that they stay in the HRE when they form that, which is weird because as, as a player, you usually get kicked out unless you're uh, an elector. I need to find. I need to get more manufactories or uh, textile manufactories. I can't. Come to the province. This is, this is dumb because my vassal we can't be allies. It's silly. That what? Aren't, if they're, if they're your vassal, they're forced allies. You can't sell things for cheap. So many rebel groups. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I, I'm not going to handle them. I'm just going to wait for them to pop, then murder them. Because I converted my religion, my state religion, so it's going to take a while to get the religious unity back up. Oh, and I still have a truce with Jompor, which means that coalition's definitely not going to fire. Interesting. So I'm, uh, I'm converting provinces now. And but my, my what's, what's, it's it's not that bad for me to convert my my country though because Gujarat has just one of the best national ideas I've ever fucking seen, religious unity plus fifty percent. So wow, I didn't realize it was that high. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, it's so like big. I converted my country and it it, it only went down to like fifty eight percent. Fifty percent, wow. Because it went yeah fifty percent plus whatever my Ooh. capital is. Yay! I shouldn't have to peace out apparently. Maybe I am going to be fighting this war. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> uh, okay. V. Well played, France. Well played. Enjoy. You're gonna you're gonna turn into a doodle. <laughs> I just realized, Helson, your Netherlands look suspiciously like my Netherlands in the single player. You you, you mean it just crawl up into Denmark's ass? Yeah. Where all of the uh, sensors of trade are, so we can push the trade from Lubeck into uh, yep. English Channel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so why do you think I've been gobbling up the fucking coastline? I control 63% of the, the trade that goes around India right now. Part of an army can turn rebellious? Not in this game, but in Imperator Rome, it, that could be a thing. Looking forward to that. Although there was no dev Aren't we all? Today. So I was sad. No, you're on sick or something. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy country. Fish. Actual well then. labor laws. Yeah, fucking Sweden and their ability to actually give people paid time off. Goddamn commie bastards. <laughs> Oddly enough, that's what we do in the Netherlands as well. Well, we here in America, we work through our sickness until you fucking drop. And then we replace your ass with a cheaper version of yourself. Oops. Sorry, sorry. Yes. <laughs> I've worked at Disney for so long. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that excludes you from nearly everything. This is just the most horrific company to work for. Yeah, it oh looks my like God, literally just... the only people on the other side that are worth anything are the Ottomans. I, I mean, it's Ottomans, Hungary, which is rebel full, Austria, yeah, okay. There was this one time that we had, uh, we could, there's a lot of international um, college students come over, and we had some, some well, it was a pair of uh, Danish girls come over. They lasted half a day, then went back home. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Yep. Or just working in Disney. Yep. Oh my oh. god, we're gonna work at Disney. It's gonna be so much fun. And it's like, oh. And it's like, oh no, I just have to get paid a pin to die. I remember the, the what one of them is placed on Earth. One of them. That's fucking Disneyland, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Although that was a lot that, because I worked at the haunted mansion, I didn't have to be nice to people. So it was it was really fun when people when, when you give people attitude and they'd be like, I thought this was supposed to be the happiest place on earth. It's like, nope, that's California. No guarantee of happiness here. Keep moving. <laughs> here in Florida, we don't give a shit. shit. Yeah. But D Disney World is, uh, it's either, it's like where magic happens or where all your dreams come true or something like that. It's not the happiest place on Earth. That's fucking Disneyland. Dreams come true. Where all your dreams are crushed? That too. Oh, those poor Danish girls. Like, they walked outside and then just, like, immediately had heat strokes. <laughs> the Danish girl. That would there's, probably there's, have happened to me as well. There's two of them. Neither of them lasted more than one day. They just walked outside. So their, faces, their faces turned beet red, and then they had to go back inside, and they went home. Yeah, yeah going from home. Denmark to Florida, that's that's kind yeah. of a yep. big jump. Yep. Well, I'm now on the Red Sea. Who's asking, the then, sea. what is Euro Disney? <laughs> Fucking Euro Disney. That thing is a that place is like the is like a festering sore on the Disney company. Uh, what's the Isn't motto? it like a money drain? Oh fuck if I know, fuck if I know the place has it may like, be happiest place on earth as well because I think it is a dis is it Disneyland or Disney World in Paris? Euro it's, Disney. It's called Euro. Di I'm just well, called Euro Disney. It, it was called Euro oh. Disney when it was made, and then like French people threw cheese and wine at Michael Eisner, and they changed the name to Disneyland Paris when Disney bought the. Do you guys know they just they just built one like a year ago in Shanghai or yeah. near Shanghai? Yeah, I fucking you imagine, know because you it cost me so much goddamn problems. Son problems. of a bitch! That place that place caused so many fucking problems in Florida. How so? Uh, because it went 1.5 billion dollars over budget, so the re the way they decided to pay for it was to slash the uh, the 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 workers' budget to the you get one goat spend for your haunted house. They slash they they slash the, uh, the our, our hours to the bone, and they uh, they reduced the number of hours of full time that they were uh, obligated to give full time employees. They reduced it well. They reduced it from 40 to 32. Then they release re reduced it from uh, 32 to 30. Then they would fail to actually give full time people the required 30 hours a week. And when you complained about it, they just go, "Well, what are you gonna do about it?" And you went, "I don't know." And you just went back to your 22 hour uh, hour work week and failed to pay your bills. There were like like it, it got bad. There were times where you know each attraction has a required minimum amount of people you need there to safely operate the ride, and if you don't have that amount of people, you're supposed to close the ride down because you can't safely operate it. And there were times where we would continue operating the rides below skeleton crew levels, where there were physically not enough people to safely operate the attractions because how, how because of how badly the budget was cut. Wow. Let me, okay, let me see. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna count in my head here. So oh, they they cut my elephant's tusks, fuckers. So let's see. Haunted Mansion needed. Let's see. Load one. Load two. Unload. My elephants. Their their tusks are cut. Stretch. What the hell? Why not? Need my elephant. I can't see your stuff. We're not allies. Six. And do you want to check on that? There's an island in Indonesia mm -hmm. right in the middle. I'm counting. And there's an uh, elephant. Negative, is is it um, Tusk's cut? What island are we talking about? Of Indonesia. Uh, I've just got some men on it. That the same place I got men in Indonesia. You, you should be able tell to me see. the name of the island. It's called <laughs> Belly Tung. Okay, yeah, his tusks are chopped. What the hell? Who did that to my elephant? You're probably you. I bet it was you, bitch, wasn't it? Son of a bitch. Right, so... Try this again. Well, I wanted oh, to sell the ivory. I'm sorry. Load one. Good Salem. Load two. Stretch one. Front. Merge. Wheelchair one. So, yeah. 
when I worked at Haunted Mansion, a uh, bare minimum amount of employees to operate the ride was six. And we did it with four all the time. Which meant that there was a very real possibility of people getting hurt because, you know, there wasn't enough employees there to tell them what to do. But we just kept going oh, because we weren't allowed to actually turn the rides off. My dreams come true. Anyone watch uh, Venom? Uh, no. Not I yet. No, no plans on seeing that train wreck. Uh, actually, not, not the fans bother. apparently gave it good ratings. Everybody else gave it terrible ratings. Ah, people I'm... like shit all the time, so... People like Transformers, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, those are, those are the kind of, you know, fat Americans who eat eight gallons of popcorn when they go to the movie theater. Those are the people that like those movies. And Chinese. Working they like killer. it as well. Is, is that legal? No, nothing Disney does is legal, but they, they don't <laughs> care because they don't answer to anybody. <laughs> like, um... Like at if you go to if you go to Disneyland in California outside there's a plaque outside of every single attraction that says it's been inspected by the state the state government has come in inspected the ride and said that it's safe to to operate. Florida doesn't have that because Disney controls the entire economy of Central Florida, so they get to do whatever <laughs> they no they, they they literally own their own municipalities their own counties. It's just funny to think like this is like. Disney literally like could yeah ba basically they have they have, a, a, they, have a, they have a finger in everything in Florida yeah, basically it, they it's they, they like... own their own local government with their own fire station and yeah. their own police and their own county and they all own they all just, uh, so they don't answer to anybody because they give they bring in so much revenue for the state that the state gives them carte blanche to do whatever they want so Disney says that they'll they self police and their self police is just shitheads like me walking through the line going. All this stuff is broken. You're not going to fix it, right? Yeah, okay, here's your paperwork. Let's go. Like, uh, when I worked at, at Winnie the Pooh, um, our opening paperwork that we had to go through and, you know, and check everything off to make sure everything was working, generally about 40% of it was, was, was broken stuff that was supposed to be fixed. And uh, just, just every single day, you guys got to fix this? No. Okay, okay let's go. Is, is that how the conversation went? Are you gonna fix this? No. Yeah. Well, okay. yeah. What would you know? I actually, I one of the conversations I had because I'm required if I find something broken when I'm opening the ride is I was required to report it to maintenance so they know what to fix. And I called maintenance up and I was like, okay, this is a long one today. And I went through the whole list of stuff that was like broken. He goes, you know, we're not gonna fix any of this stuff, right? And I went, yeah, I know you're not gonna fix it. I'm still required to tell you it's broken. Click. Be your fault, I guess. Yeah. Legally, whatever. Once the ride was on fire, and I told them that it was on fire, and they went, "No, the ride's not on fire. You're just an idiot." And that, and then <laughs> is it, the, it's, it's the act. It's, it's actually part of that the picture show. of the dog. Uh, that dog, you know, he's like, "Everything's fine." Uh, and then the <laughs> ride, burns and then the ride vehicle came in Eat with people day, on it day, on day, fire. Day, <laughs> day, so, um, Korea is no longer a tributary to Ming. Yeah. Kill it! Kill it! I mean, I might. <laughs> you, mean, you mean Imperial Manchuria, right? Ming's getting a pretty hefty uh, non tributaries penalty I'm now. I'm pretty too. sure we could just call it Manchukuo and that'll be fine. <laughs> wow. is an interesting place. Very delicious food, actually. I love the food from there. Mm. Uh, Pork as well. Uh, well. If I got loans, I might as well put, go ahead and put these down. Usually in China, they normally call it like Dong Bay, that sort of area. I don't know. See you, Ludo. The ride cuisine is one of my favorite there. Chinese. Then again, I like quite a few of the Chinese provinces' cuisines. But Dongbei food's pretty good. Put that down. Oh, this is a lot of rebels. I have, I love the Western China food. Xinjiang province, maybe I think. No, god damn it! You having some trouble over there? Not enough unrest. No, invading somebody else. Click to attack, and it just moved me to somewhere else instead of attacking. Oh. It's fine. 
I wanted to catch their armies as soon as I did the declaration. I did. Got some proper murder in there. Yep. Edict, enforce religious unity. Yes. <clears throat> I never thought that uh, it must have really sucked to work at a company where no one cared. Yep. Cyrus, thanks for the resub. Damon, ah, fighter of oh, the rebels are starting. Six months, woo. <laughs> oh, that's a point. Mm. Uh, what, somebody in my chat was just like, I just found the Wikipedia article for the, all of the reported incidents of like injuries and uh, stuff at Disney. That's not a that's not a comprehensive list. I could promise it's you that. Also, not a complete list, probably. A lot, lot of stuff gets covered up. A lot of stuff gets covered up and not reported because yeah, I bet. <laughs> who know that who knew that when you tell a billion dollar you know multi billion dollar corporation they're responsible for self policing that they'd be corrupt. Mm. It basically just controls the whole area's economy. Mm -hmm. Definitely not surprising, not really corrupt, is it? Doing those situations, it's such a big theme park, you know? Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. John Poor is mean, no longer a valid rival. I, I would suggest Except people times. not go there just because I am having worked there and worked in multiple areas. Safety is not a concern for anybody except for the, ver the frontline cast members, and they can't do anything about the safety issues. So you're gonna, you, there's a good chance you're gonna get fucking hurt. Or, you know, die. We love you! Shut up, baby, I know it! And Utari! Thanks for the Twitch Prime resub! Yeah, 13. <laughs> 13 months. I think you're, I think you're my, my eldest, my eldest son. Yeah, the eldest now. It's funny, isn't it, that when you st when you work in certain places, you realize just how like dumb people can be. Oh, don't get me started. You expect people, you know, companies put high standards on stuff because that's what you think people. Well, that's what people think should be done. But actually, most places are just just people just trying to do whatever they can to keep their jobs and stuff and blah blah get, blah. And get, the companies don't through, care. Get through the fourteen hour Possible. shift so that you can sleep in yeah. the Mouseketeria because you can't afford enough gas to get home before you work your next 14 hour shift. Yeah. That was a, pre that was a pretty com common thing. People sleeping in the cafeteria because they couldn't afford to drive home. That's crazy. This is why I, I actually, I have a thing. I have like a, a, a subconscious fear of not having control. Like I hate any situation I'm not in control. Because like, um, for example, if I go on a bike, like a, a motorbike, I have to drive back of a motorbike if someone else is driving. So does it freak you out not to have be the be the host of this? It series? freaks. It freak. I literally can't get on the bike. If if you said I oh, get on the back, NG, I'd be like, I physically can't get on the back. So someone in my chat just said Disney could probably cover up a child being eaten by a gator. That just happened <laughs> like a yeah. year ago. <laughs> like literally, a kid got eaten by an alligator just recently. I think it was like two years ago, maybe. Yeah, I don't remember. It was re it was relatively recent. A child getting eaten by an alligator, it's pretty recent, even if it's two or three years ago. That's still <laughs> that's still bad enough. Day man. Ah, fighter of the night man. Mm -hmm. well, you were molested. Son. I was not molested. No, you were just eaten by an alligator? Day man. On the Nightman song. Worst company is McDonald's. Nope, Disney's worse. Disney. Mac song. McDonald's wasn't that bad. I, I worked for McDonald's. It wasn't that Ma bad. McDonald's pays more. You get to work inside, and yeah. there's a counter <laughs> se separating you from the fucking people. I mean, like, cast members being assaulted by guests, regular everyday occurrence. I got I got assaulted twice on the job. Well, it's so in others because every they don't like Mickey Mouse every single day because a lot of times you have to tell people to See do the things mouse, they don't want. Like, get him! Yeah, a lot of times you have to do things that that 
you know, you got to either tell people things they don't want to hear or, or have them do stuff they don't want to do. Um, a like, couple, sir, can you please stop pissing on Minnie Mouse? A couple weeks ago, somebody was, like, trying to find a place to propose in front of the castle while the parade was going by. And, you know, like, the, the people in charge of the parade came by and was like, Hey, dude, you have to leave. You can't stand in the way of a car coming by. You have to get off of the road. And he strangled the woman and then uh, sued her. What? what? Yeah, he sued her because she had the audacity to tell him what to do. Well then, I know. Don't I know. Damn it. I know people like if you get assaulted when you're on the job, you're not allowed to press charges either. If you press charges, they fire you. When I got the first time I got assaulted, um, they asked me if I wanted to press charges and. I I honestly didn't. He didn't hurt me. He was just a prick. And uh, I said, no, I'm not really interested in in, play, in in pressing charges, but I don't think he needs to be in this park. I'm, I'm a 30-year-old man. I can handle myself. But a lot of these cast members are, like, petite 18-year-old girls who might not, you know, ha you might not be able to handle themselves as well against a man assaulting them. Like, my poor wife, she's fucking 4'10 and weighs 90 pounds. And she works at the company. It's like, I don't want him anywhere near her or any of my friends. And they were just like, well, we're not going to kick him out of the park. You're not going to press charges. It's like, okay, I'll press charges well, then. And they're like, ah, you don't really want to do that. It can cost you your job. I got a good joke for you guys. Why did the cod go to court? Please don't say anything about Jesus or Jews. <sighs> he was battered and assaulted. Is that a British joke? Hmm. I did the it it the is, but it's a pretty man. naff one. <laughs> I still laughed though, Atari. I heard it. Florida More of that tired. To be fair enough, oh, I was chuckling as well, so. <laughs> I, just, I thought it was okay. He was battered and assaulted. Hmm. Well, I know someone who. Ben, you don't her... have that in America? We have fish fries. Not down south, really, but up north we did. Oh, that you mean fish fingers, yeah? Oh god, fish That's fries. Not... What? Like fried fish fingers? Fish. I think it means fish fingers. No, it's when you take a fish and you fry it. You don't call. Them I was fish really fries. worried you were gonna say something else there, Ben. But okay. Like like fish um, fried and in, chicken nugger. In 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 New York, <laughs> they like every well, Friday wait, wait. they would have. What fish did you fries. just say, chicken? Fish fried, because you mentioned fish fried. It's fish fried and chicken nugger. Do you not know the Reddit creep, uh, copy pasta? God, everything is oh, over you. Every reference is over everybody's head today. We are not on point. <laughs> no. This, this is the problem. The internet side just, it's become too much. There's too many references. This is an <laughs> old one as well. Is that made worse or better? Sweet, sweet potato, fish fried, Me Mecha sloth, and you get chicken it. nugger. Fried fish Fridays. That was the thing we did in New York. Packing career now. Career? What? It's getting a career. I mean, I am attacking career. Textile manufactory, textile manufactory, textile manufactory. Oh, Both attacking at the same time. Me. Ah, I guess. I mean, I see an opportunity, I'll take it. Of the nightmare. Have a mill. Oh, maybe I do that. Half okay. a million dollars. I need to have a mill. Does that mean I need to own a paper province, I think? Alright, who wants to die? Who's got paper and wants to die? Uh... No, uh, there's some some some, uh, some, some bah bahamas here. Looks like it. Or how about how about you, Big Vige? Nah, there's some paper. All right, all right. Wait, I own paper. I already have it. Good job. <laughs> Mills can be built on other things, though, can't they? Oh, Admin Tech Six. Uh... <laughs> I'm dun, two text, dun, dun, I'm two dun, text dun, away dun, from getting dun, that. Dun, dun. Right, that's a thing. Technology. Technology. God, it's so fucking hot in here. Hang on. I need to grab hey. something cold. Damn it, you're making me hungry. Hungry.
I eat tomorrow. I might get an Indian curry, actually. Oh, now I really want a curry. I'm not an Indian in ages. Okay. Two birds with one stone here. Okay. Yeah, like, I, th I think a lot of the northerners in my chat are like, yeah, we know what you're talking about, Ben, because they're all talking about Fish Fry Fridays now. Well, so, I mean, it's a, it, it, Fish Fry Fridays is a Catholic thing because it's for Lent. You weren't allowed to, you're not allowed to eat meat, so you they always did fish fries. I think it's just a delicious thing. Oh, oh, sorry, I, Ben, I thought you meant like these, these fish fingers because I remember I saw like, I saw in a restaurant, I remember, was it Burger King or something? Like they had like chicken uh, fingers. Is it chicken fries? And they look like fish fingers, what we call in England. I don't know if I've ever eaten from Burger King. Eat a bag of day. Eat a bag of day. It looked pretty weird. Uh, my chat just said they found the alligator story. It was uh, summer two years ago. Exactly on point. Yeah, there I got some printing press. So who wants to sell? I got I got cash and I, it's burning a hole in oh. my pocket. Who wants to? Oh sell my god! Please, press? I want to buy the institution. I want money. What about what? Is... Uh, okay, okay, okay. What, what what what's the issue up in Japan? Why can't you get to me? Colonial Cause, range? uh, no, because I'm currently giving it to Buryata. Buryatia, sorry. Also, question. They're, they're a goddamn AI. I'm a real life per I'm a real boy. <laughs> I did. I couldn't I'm reach you boy. when I had it before. But by the way, I don't even know if I can reach you now. But hey. Ah. Ooh, stability. Don't mind if I do. Let me go ahead and give that a little bit of a booster doodle. Ahead, go take that one too. So, question. If Ming finishes this war and makes it a tributary, does that mean Ming comes in against me while I'm already at war? I don't think so. I don't think so. We saw that <laughs> earlier today, didn't we? Hey, Henrik, thanks for the sub. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the Legion of Magnus. Right, he's hoping. Good luck. Apparently, eating not eating fish on Fridays was also an English Protestant thing. To help build up the fishing industry so the Navy could get sailors. Well you know, then. I don't know why this know. just made me thought about this, but I recently read a, a headline that said the American army is suffering because everybody's too fat. <laughs> okay. like, like, why. like there's a recruitment shortage because something like 77% of eligible people are too are, are too fat to to like meet the, the fitness requirements. Uh, if there's a fatter population, it's going to be more difficult. Oh yeah, and they're all in Florida. That is the fattest populations in Mexico, actually. So maybe they have a harder time getting an army. My my personal belief is that Florida is sink slowly sinking back into the ocean because all the fat people the way in Orlando, and it's just pulling everything down. <laughs> wouldn't you want less? If you were fat, wouldn't you want to not live somewhere very hot? Wouldn't that make it worse? No, they they visit here because there's fucking Disney. Someone just asked, what's the worst okay. accident that I uh, can remember involving a guest? While I was there, somebody had um, the all their fingers chopped off. What? Ow. Well, that person fucking had it coming. Like Mickey. So, so uh, you know how like literally every single ride, there's a little voice that chimes in as soon as the ride vehicle starts moving? If you've been to any amusement park, that just goes, keep your hands, legs, feet, and arms inside the vehicle at all times. So that person didn't do that and put their hand was it? in the water of like a log flume. They, it was Pirates of the Caribbean. They put their hand in the water while it was like going down a slope. And the, those things are on tracks basically when they're, you know, in those areas. So he just ran, ran his hand over and chopped his fingers off. Ooh. And then he sued Disney. Of course thing is for to say like you know keep your hands aside isn't that to make sure they don't get sued yeah, yeah it's to make sure that you know people don't fucking get hurt and i remember after that happened i rode pirates of the caribbean and there were five separate areas where it tells you not to do that between sound between of so uh, signs and verbal warnings it was you were told five times not to do that 
<laughs> Somebody just goes according to the the, uh, the wiki page. He was a, he was a British kid. Mm. I have a feeling that Protestants will actually win their league war. Protestants didn't understand the accent. Well, well, there's no Catholics left in Europe, so. Well, yeah. My God, that is the <laughs> yeah. least Catholic Europe I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. crikey! Yeah, you're right. I can't quite see Europe yet. Paul, Paul or Austria, like, why Why didn't it just change? It's basically it just Sweden and over. Spain. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I mean, they'd lose the empireship if they switched religion. Bastards. That's true. Well, that's part of the thing, is why I didn't, but also, if you look at it, like, uh, I wanted to... Ouch! Lots of rebels. Sorry. Just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, you can 15... Settlers a month. I need to finish a thingy. Yeah, I hate when thingy gets in the science. I mean, I just removed the thingy from my uh, opponent's list, so hey. <laughs> oh, uh, Queso, the guy looking at the list right now. That doesn't inc that doesn't count, uh, track uh, a cast member injury. So that's, those are just guests. I need someone to help with this. I know a girl that had her shins shattered. That sounds painful. Yeah, well, Disney has like a million of those little motorized scooters going around. And they're basically like 500 pound battering rams that go, I don't know, 15, 18 miles an hour. And you're not, you don't have to like take like a driving test or have a license to rent one. So they're usually driven by elderly people who shouldn't be driving anything. And uh, she was uh, uh, working for, like a parade, and one of those things, she was standing up against a brick wall, and one of them just full speed ran straight into her, and pinned her against the wall and broke both her shins. Eesh. Ouchies. Eat a bag of dicks.